Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and uh, happy Friday. <laughs> Today we're going to be going through, um, I did a week's worth of my spring um, handmade capsule wardrobe. Um, on shorts and over on Instagram, um, but I'm showing you kind of the long form version today. So we'll be going through all seven of my outfits from the past week. I'm kind of talking a little bit about why I chose them, um, you know, the what I was doing that day, that kind of stuff, maybe to help you get a better idea of how my wardrobe is working for me, which as it turns out is really great. <laughs> but before we get into that, today is Friday and the Love Notions Feature Friday pattern is the Tinley score, or, uh, shorts, skirt, squirt all the thing <laughs> and I think this is the first um time that it is um feature Friday which is very exciting this is one of their newer patterns I have not made this one yet but it, I just I'm cutting it out in fact folks I am learning the projector and um I'm cutting it out like I've got the pattern already I've learned how to just I've only learned how to lengthen and shorten on the projector file um to do it like digitally so then I can just project out my shortened pattern um, but I've got it pulled up onto the um, Inkscape, which is the um, program that I'm using to do that, and ready to, like, project it out. So I'm using some of the linen from my um, um, the Stashify for this month. So you'll see those here at the end of April. But anyway, the pattern is $5 today only. The code 10 Tomcat gets you an additional 10% off the sale price. So um, grab it, and you can sew up a pair with me. <laughs> I think it's going to be a really great um, summer pattern because uh, they're elastic waist, you know, loose, easy to wear. I'm very excited about making a pair. Um, and I think I'm going to do the skirt for myself because I'm kind of into skirts at the moment. So um, or I'm trying to get myself more into wearing skirts. So anyway, the pattern is uh, $5 today only. Um, lots of variations. So it's a really good one to grab if you haven't already uh, put that one into your catalog. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about my handmade capsule wardrobe. So as a refresher, um, these are the colors that I'm working with in my spring capsule uh, that I put together. And I think I did a video on my spring plans back in February. Uh, I don't have everything done for my spring capsule like I'd planned. I still may work a little bit more on it because of the pieces that I still want to add. Um, well, two of them I may hold off on until the um, fall just because it's a pair of pants and a jacket and I don't. I don't know that I'm going to need those um, because we're starting to get into the warmer part of spring. So I may wait and push those off and put those into my fall capsule. Um, but a few things <laughs> um, have been added to uh, my spring capsule. It's been a fantastic transitional wardrobe so far. Um, I'm absolutely loving my colors. Back in March, um, Katie Cortman um, on Instagram did a We Wear Happy Color Challenge, which was just a, a picture posting challenge. Um, so like the first week you're supposed to wear a monochromatic look and the second week was analogous, which are colors that are next to each other in the um, color chart. And then the third week was um, complementary colors. So those are colors opposite each other on the color wheel. And then the fourth week was wear the rainbow. So you could just like put as many colors as you wanted to together. Um, and I just had such a fun time doing that, like pairing, color blocking basically, and pairing co colors I maybe wouldn't have thought to pair with before. Um, so I've kind of carried that over a little bit. You'll notice that um, I start off the week very... Um, uh, monochromatic, but then get a lot more color as the week goes on. The week started off very chilly and very cold, and then it got quite a bit warmer as the week went on, which is kind of good because you got to see how I'm wearing all the pieces in my transitional wardrobe. But I'm very pleased with all of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe. In fact, I don't know that there's anything that I would say, oh, I don't know that I need that in there. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think that there's anything in there that I would say, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't worn my aqua blouse that much. I'm not really sure why. Um, but I think that's the only piece that I haven't grabbed a ton. But other than that, um, I, I really am pleased with all the colors that I've got in my wardrobe. I've added some more colorful bottoms. Um, to my spring capsule, you know, my Belleville jeans I added. Um, I dug my um, Itch to Stitch Upland trousers that are in the coral. I dug those out and added them to my capsule and I'm just really loving having those in there. Um, Oh, and I also pulled my Magna pants out, my blue, my cobalt blue Magna pants. I pulled those down from the closet as well, and I'm um, really having fun wearing those too. So very pleased with everything that I've got in my capsule, loving wearing all the color. It's making me very, very happy. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is also proof that 
sewing in a color palette, whether that be a color palette that's been chosen for you or whatever, or a color palette you just put together of colors you like, how wonderful that can be because it really does make your closet very cohesive. So doing the fun color block challenges and stuff like that are very easy because all of your colors are already harmonious and go together. Um, so it made that very, very easy. So it's good to see that in my closet, how cohesive everything is becoming, which has always been the goal. Okay. Before we pop over for me to go through all seven of my outfits that I wore this week, I want to tell you guys, um, if you are not a newsletter subscriber, you're going to want to pop over and sign up for my newsletter. I'm leaving, um, a link down below in the description box for you to go over and do that. Um, right now we're sending out weekly newsletters uh, just because we had a whole bunch of um, offers and all sorts of stuff, news that we wanted to let you know. Um, so Jenny's trying it for a little bit. Um, she's the one that sends out the newsletter, um, but trying it on a weekly basis right now just to see how it goes. Uh, we may go back to every other week, but right now it is weekly. That's the only thing we send out. Um, but I do want to let you know that you're going to want to sign up because we have a huge announcement coming up on for Monday's newsletter. So my newsletters go out on Monday evenings um, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, which is the time zone we're in, New York time. And um, we have a really exciting announcement, um, something that we've been working on really hard behind the scenes. And uh, that announcement is coming out in the newsletter on Monday. And I will also be talking about it on Tuesday's video. But um, you want to you know, if you want to get in there quick, uh, definitely sign up for that newsletter so that you're one of the first to know the very exciting news. Okay. I think that's all I've got for right now. <laughs> all right. So big proponent of capsule wardrobes. I find them very easy to get dressed. Big proponent of having some sort of a um, color palette to be working from because it really does make getting dressed easier. Having a cohesive closet just makes everything flow together. It makes getting dressed fun. And I'm a big, um, I'm not a minimalist. <laughs> and I'm obviously, my capsules do not consist of mostly neutral things. I have some, but not very many. Um, love the color. Love doing the color blocking. So those are my big takeaways from my spring capsule wardrobe. I hope you have enjoyed my spring capsule wardrobe as much as I have. Let's go now take a look at all of the outfits that I wore this past week. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. So I'm doing a week's worth of uh, my handmade capsule wardrobe off a little bit just because of the way our spring break fell. Um, but today's Thursday and it's day one of a week of my handmade spring capsule wardrobe. Um, today I'm going very monochromatic, which is a little bit odd because um, through the month of March, I was participating in the We Wear Happy Color um, and having a lot of fun pairing um, color blocking and pairing different colors together. So um, today is just a little bit different, but I think that this is gonna be a good week because it's very cold today. It's only in the 30s. And I think by Monday, they were supposed to be up in the 70s. So it's the perfect time to showcase the versatility of a transitional uh, seasons capsule wardrobe. Um, so today I've got on my Sew House 7 toaster sweater and the wool knit, which is nice and snuggly. My Accru Everlane jeans. I've got my, um, uh, what are these called? The Air Force Ones in the Nikes in the fun pop of color. So that's kind of my color for today. And then I'm pairing it with some orange earrings to help pop that color as well. So this is uh, today's look and um, hopefully gonna keep me warm because it is cold today. I am, we're still on spring break. So um, my husband's home, the kids are home. So I'm gonna spend the day, I think, doing a little bit of sewing. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello. Happy Friday. This is day two of my spring handmade capsule wardrobe. Um, or part, it's partially handmade. This is a ready to wear sweater. <laughs> um, today's Friday. We're still on spring break. And so, um, my husband's off work and the kids obviously are home. Um, so we ordered, uh, four cubic yards of mulch that was delivered this morning. And we've been spending the entire day, um, shoveling it out of the big pile, <laughs> big mound on my driveway into wheelbarrow and buckets, and then taking it all the way around the yard to all the different places to then spread mulch for the upcoming uh, warmer season. And um, I may not be able to move tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already very tight through my back, uh, taking some anti-inflammatories in um, expectation of that. But 
um, took a shower, my letting my hair air dry. So that's what I love about these weeks is that we can kind of look at life and all of its different parts. Um, it's also very cold outside. Um, it is only, yeah, it's only like 40. Um, so came in, took a shower to warm up. I have put on my um, swim style Carla loungewear bottoms. I love these pants. They're very, very comfortable. Just have slippers on because we're in for the rest of the day. And then one of my J. Crew uh, merino wool uh, teddy sweaters that I love. And the good thing about um, finding things that are in your color palette is that when you have one of your colors on, you can be completely <laughs> um, makeup free here. Let me get that um, completely makeup free and not look dead, which is wonderful because um, this is one of my um, really good colors and my eyes still look bright and um, everything else. I mean, my hair is still in the process of air drying. I didn't put any product in it. It's just doing its own thing. <laughs> so um, that, oh, that is today. That is today. If I can move when I see you guys tomorrow, I'm going to call it a win. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Happy day three of my spring handmade capsule wardrobe. <laughs> um, it is Saturday today and I'm actually getting out to do a little bit of shopping with my daughter. We're doing some um, just odds and ends for prom because um, she bought her prom dress. She decided she wanted to do that instead of having me make one, which is fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, we've got to go buy undergarments and some shoes and just do some last minute things. Prom isn't for another month, like over a month, but, um, well, another month, another month. Um, but our April is super busy. So we have a lot, um, that I want to get done before our spring break is over. Um, so that we're just all ready to go for that. And we don't have to run around frantically, um, jewelry, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing today. It is still cold. I think the high today gets into the fifties, the low fifties, which is a, um, better than it has been and it is it's slowly getting warmer each day so today i've got on my style arc lauren jacket in this wool knit i love this color and i love it paired with this coral uh, my nails are coral right now so i think this goes really well together i have on my um coral or salmon colored um cashmere carlisle from their club pattern i've got madewell wide leg jeans on with um my adidas bold or gazelle bold um sneakers got those on and then i'm going to be carrying my yellow purse that i got in italy which is a lot of fun and i have my sleeves rolled and i've got this beautiful uh binding on here that i use to finish off my edges that goes really well with the t-shirt i think um on the inside i think that's a lot of fun so um and then simple jewelry i've got double um um necklaces <laughs> and then I've got some uh, David Yerman studs that my husband bought me years ago so uh, there we go all set and ready to do some shopping I will see you guys tomorrow happy week of my spring handmade capsule wardrobe today is day four it is Sunday getting ready to head to church Folks, I'm having so much fun color blocking with this spring capsule wardrobe. Um, I think the We Wear Happy color that I did in March was really just a, um, it started, it stirred my creative juices and now I'm having so much fun. Okay, so today again, we've got church. Um, it is still chilly, although it is starting to warm up. Um, I think it's only, yeah, it's only like 38 degrees right now. Um, but I think by this afternoon, it's supposed to be up in the 50s. So um, anyway, this will be perfect for um, that kind of weather. Um, I'll probably end up wearing this all day. I may switch the skirt out for some jeans later on. We'll find out. Um, so I, I may do some sewing today. Um, but anyway, I am wearing a cashmere sweater that I grabbed on deep discount at J. Crew with my um, slip skirt from uh, Stay Stitch Pattern Company. This is the Coco Bias Slip Skirt. Love this thing. And the Mood um, Viscose um, Satin. Oh, it, just the movement on it is just beautiful. Uh, and then keeping with the orange, I've got on my um, Everlane orange mules um, just to kind of bring the orange down to my feet and then going with gold accessories. So I've got gold hoops in, um, some gold necklaces and then um, my rings and <laughs> I'm in desperate need. Um, if you don't look too closely, my manicure still looks really good, but <laughs> I've got a lot of grow out going on at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to need to get those uh, fixed up here soon. Anyway. Here is today's outfit. It is very comfortable, um, feeling very uh, 
easy and um, be appropriately warm and all that stuff. I'll throw a coat on for church, um, but then be able to ditch that later today. All right. Hope you guys are having a good one as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Eclipse Day or day five of my handmade, spring handmade capsule wardrobe. Today is Monday. It is Eclipse Day. Um, my area is in the total eclipse uh, swath. So we are going to be able to see 100% total eclipse or right in the middle of it. Um, in other words, things are like nutty in the Indianapolis area, as I'm sure along the whole line of total eclipse. Um, a lot of people here, my husband's off work, the kids are out of school, all that jazz. Um, but it's a beautiful day. I think we're going to be able to see it really well because the cloud cover is like hardly, there are just a few clouds in the sky. Um, it's pretty sunny and it's going to be warm today. It's going to be up in the seventies, um, low seventies. So I grabbed my Aurora dress for today. This is my Love Notions Aurora dress. This is the first time I've had a chance to wear it other than just for pictures, um, because it's now finally a little bit warm enough. So very excited to have it on today, wearing it with my, um, white sneakers, my Madewell um, white sneakers. And then I've got very simplistic jewelry on today. Um, I've just got my rings on. I've got my um, necklace, my just my diamond necklace. And then I've got these little coral earrings that I inherited from my grandmother um, that kind of pick up the coral on the dress. And um, yeah, I think we're pulling out um, our patio furniture out today since everyone's off school and all of that. Um, we'll watch the eclipse in our backyard. We are not leaving the house. It is absolute mayhem around here. Um, so yeah, that is me for today. Um, I will be back again tomorrow with another outfit and tomorrow everyone's finally back in school, work, all of that jazz. So <laughs> it's been a very long spring break. This is the very tail end of my kids spring break. So they go back to school tomorrow. Looking forward to that. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy day six of a week of my spring handmade capsule wardrobe. Today is Tuesday. My kids are back in school. My husband's back in the office. <laughs> my house is quiet. It's just Gidget and I here today. Um, but I have doing some filming today and um, I actually had a couple of appointments and stuff that I needed to also get up today. And I was feeling all of the color. So this is kind of what I'm wearing around the house. I've got on my gold um, Bowden loafers with my Itch to Stitch Belleville jeans. Absolutely love these in the linen. My altered um, graphic tee, this Walt Disney tee, that's actually um, starting to deteriorate. <laughs> it's not good fabric. Um, but anyway, loving this. And then while I was out and about, it's warmer today. It's supposed to get up in the 70s, but it was a little chilly when I was running errands this morning. So I tossed on my Style Arc Lauren jacket. I love this analogous color um, that I've got, especially with my yellow bag. So this was today's complete outfit um, when I left the house um, for with my jacket and all that kind of stuff and absolutely feeling it. All right, one more day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, welcome to day seven of my handmade spring capsule wardrobe. Um, today is Wednesday. I'm actually going to be in my sewing studio all day today, sewing and cutting things out and doing some editing. Um, but this is what I'm wearing today. Um, so I have a couple errands to run. I've switched over to my um, turquoise little bag here. Um, crossbody technically probably isn't the best because I'm large busted, but it's just easier. I just really <laughs> wearing things crossbody. These are my new jeans that I just got from Abercrombie. I'm trying out that um, real heavy um, thick cuff. Um, on the pants and they're baggier. Um, I find them very comfortable. Um, I've got them on with my um, sneakers, my gazelle sneakers. And then it is a little chilly right now. It's gonna get up into the upper 60s later today. So I've got, this is my newest, um, also a purchase, not something I made, but this is a Farm Rio cardigan that I picked up when I was birthday shopping with my sister. Um, absolutely love it. It's two-toned. Two-toned, um, so you've got one color on one side, the other on the other. It's just my perfect colors, absolutely love it. Perfect little wrap, but underneath it, and probably how I'll be wearing my outfit most of the day today, is just very simply my Simplicity 1538 silk shirt. This thing is absolute workhorse in my wardrobe, love it. And I'll probably end up um, pushing my sleeves up or rolling the sleeves up at some point, maybe not. I think they kind of push up easily enough. So um, that is how I will be sewing today. So uh, 
this is it. I hope you've enjoyed a week of my spring capsule wardrobe. I really enjoyed wearing my spring capsule wardrobe and seeing how many fun, colorful combinations I can put together. All right, guys, have a good one. So there you have it. That's all seven outfits. It was a wonderful week, a really good week to showcase my spring capsule. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. I hope you get some sewing in this weekend. I'm going to be at the soccer fields for a soccer tournament this weekend, but I, um, because that's kind of wiped our schedule clean for the weekend, I think I'm going to be able, it's a local tournament, so I think I'm going to be able to squeeze in um, quite a bit of sewing time. And I have just been batch cutting out the wazoo because I've learned how to do the projector cutting and it makes cutting out so much quicker and so amazing. Um, so I've got a lot of cut projects that are ready to be sewn up. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good weekend. Get some sewing in and I'll see you again on Tuesday. Bye-bye.